So two years ago, I honestly never thought I was going to be selling this boat. I, I thought I, I was buying this boat and this was going to be the boat I would have forever. Um, but things change and it looks like I'm moving my boat on. So by the time this video goes live, um, the good old Contender 25 she's she's gonna be gone she might possibly well she'll be on the way to her new owner over east so so i don't know whether to be sad or or whether to be happy um it's been it's honestly been it's been the best boat i've ever owned this thing like it's it's epic to fish from it's fast it holds a lot of fuel um you know you you're, you're comfortable you're safe um it's just it's epic to fish from and yeah I'm <laughs> like i said i don't know whether to be sad or, or happy that it's it's gone but um the new owner ross he's i mean mate you're gonna love this thing um it's th this fish this boat has caught some serious fish and i'm sure where it's going it's gonna catch a heap of fish as well but um i thought i never did this when i had the boat so i figured i may um i always was meaning to do it but um, I might just give you a quick run through of this boat and, and give you a bit of a look at how I had it set up. Um, you know, if, you, if you're thinking about buying one of these, there's not a lot of videos on the internet that I've found that kind of run through these boats. So I'll um, give you a bit of a look at it and we can kind of have a look at how I set it up. And um, anyway, <laughs> we can say our goodbyes. <laughs> so let's, uh, we'll, we'll go from the start. Okay, so there she is. The 25T. Now this has a um, key, what they call a Key West top. So that's got the cutout on top and it makes it heaps better for fishing. There's less shade, but um, when you're fishing, you get a lot more fishable space on the boat because it's cut out. And, and this area here, essentially, like on a lot of the, the boats that I've seen, they don't, uh, well, the contenders that I've seen, they haven't got this top. Um, and this area on the side here is, it's, um, I don't think it's as fishable as what this boat is so this thing here like for casting all day and using the majority of the boat for casting um, having that cut out or this Key West top makes a real big difference well I've found anyway um, we've got it it's got uh, twin 200 horsepowers um, Yamahas and this thing like this will do I had it 47 knots now the boat already came with um, these tuna and slimy tubes when I when I purchased it but I've only used them a handful of times never for the fishing I do they're not really that that crash hot um, but let's go and have a look so as you can see like there's just so much deck space on this boat um, at the front especially for casting We've got a huge amount of space up here We've got the integrated seat cooler. Um, you could remove that, but this thing's really good for storing drinks and even storing excess fishing gear if you don't use it. But we've got a big anchor well at the front. Heaps of room. You can have um, either a plow anchor or a reef anchor, whatever you want in there. We've got pop-up cleats, pop-up bow light. That just, that just pops up like that. But that's the best thing about these is at least you can pop them down when you're, you're fishing and there's nowhere for your line to get caught. We've got a huge storage tank here. So you could either fill this up full of ice if you're catching like big tuna or you're going away for a, um, you know, a couple of days trip and just stack a heap of ice in there. And, but I, I always just use it for storage. So a heap of un underfloor storage. I always put one of the Madfish bags in there and that was really handy. Um, we've got storage on both sides of the console. These things are huge. They're great for storing fenders, excess tackle. Um, you could probably even store rods in here because these things stretch all the way, all the way up the side of the boat. We've got heaps of rod holders on the side of the console. Um, I also put in four rod holder holders along the gunnels up the front and I got four rod holders on the gunnels down the back. Um, on this side of the console 
this side doesn't have rod holders but that's just because of the door so you've got a lot of storage um, the wiring in these boats as well is absolutely crazy it's it's so good but that's inside the console coming to the back of the boat we've got another two storage latches down the back again these things you can use these as fish boxes um, or storage again you can just fill them up with ice or I just used them for storage so you got one of them on each side you've also got your well so this is um gives you full access down below to all your pumps you've got your through hole transducers um you got all your fuel fuel um filters bilge pumps all that you can see it's all pretty neat and tidy down there we've got our leaning post um, this is one thing I haven't seen anybody or any other contenders with this little tray So if you own a little uh, contender adding this tray in it's really good for just storing lures or pliers or whatever you got but um, Nice handy little um, Leaning post you got four rod holders in it. You can also Open that up and there's more storage Now on to the good stuff so we've got twin 16 inch Simrads. These are um, Simrad Evo 3S 16 inch screens. Um, I've got two one kilowatt 175 low hot, uh, low high, uh, no there's a 175 low and a 175 high wide, uh, wired directly into the units. Um, and that's always worked really well, works good at speed. Um, we've got a JL Audio system here, Media Master 100. So we've got the two, big speakers if you can see right up under the the front there under the gunnels and then we got um, two speakers on each side um, we also have the radar so that's the halo radar the simrad that thing I didn't use radar a lot but it is um, pretty handy and then I've got the GS the taco GS 280 outrigger bases these things are really good I only used them a handful of times but the best thing about them is you can just boom set your riggers it's nice and out of the way and they just lock in like that um, coming to the back of the boat again like I said we got all the rod holders on the sides we got under gunnel rod storage and then we got this killer big bait tank. So this thing, this thing is huge. Um, I don't know how, exactly how many liters it is, but you can fit a, a stack of baits in there. It's good for either keeping live baits or you can even use it as a bin or um, just bleeding your fish in. We got those twin 200 Yamahas. This thing, I mean, if you've watched any of my content, you'll know how bloody fast this thing goes. But yeah, heaps of fishable space, good storage. They really are an epic boat. And like I said, this space here, you know, with the cutback, mate, you got so much casting room. But anyway. Oh, toes really well. I'm, I never exactly weighed it, but this thing toes, like if you got a 200 series or even a ute, um, these things tow really well. Good aluminium trailer. But yeah, that's a bit of a look at it, guys. Sad to see it go, but oh well, life goes on. Anyway, guys, the content's probably going to change a little bit for the foreseeable future. Um, probably going to have to do a lot, a lot more brimming, um, a lot more estuary stuff. Um, unless anybody wants to take me out, but um, yeah, what do you what do you do? It's, yeah, it's a sad day. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if I don't see you in the store, I'll probably see you in the river when I'm brim fishing. But um, Ross, enjoy the boat, and I'll see you guys soon.